corporate reporting of scopes 1, 2 and 3 emissions. You might think these production plants contribute the same amounts of emissions to their parent company's overall eco-footprint. They're all producing the same product after all, aren't they? Well, it's not quite that simple. We measure a company's emissions by dividing them into three categories or scopes. Scope 1 are direct emissions from the company's owned or controlled sources. From all of the company's facilities and vehicles, they're the easiest to track. Scope 2 are indirect emissions from outside the company, made through generating purchased energy like electricity, steam, heating and cooling, which could be from renewable or fossil fuels based sources with or without CO2 capture technologies. Scope 3 usually has the largest impact and it's much more complicated. It includes all other indirect upstream and downstream value chain emissions. Let's take a look. PET bottles can be made with traditional petrochemical technologies or from recycled end-of-life plastics. Glass bottles can be created using old technologies or you might have a modern energy efficient glass production with CO2 capture. The used glass might be remelted, or it might go for washing and reuse. And now we have a choice of washing method, the traditional way, or a novel process with 70% reduced water consumption. So what about product ingredients? Were they grown on land that is sustainably managed, or that uses intensive agriculture methods, or even worse, adds to our planet's deforestation? And let's not forget the huge impact of logistics. Renewable fuels, zero emission vehicles, distances and different supply optimization methods each has a large impact. So how do we track the complexities? Can life cycle analysis help? Perhaps, but only as a snapshot picture that cannot demonstrate real life improvements along the value chain. Is it possible to build a reliable and easy to prove eco footprint picture in real time? Yes, Recarbonex systems can do it. Built on the security of blockchain, the system automatically collects every processing, supply and manufacturing step along the way, with integrated industrial sensors, manual data entries and even data from multiple ERP systems. And using transparent algorithms, so-called smart contracts, the system provides a clear, understandable, reliable and provable data picture from each product to the whole corporation's eco-footprint turning product lifecycle analysis from a basic snapshot picture into a real-time record. So is that everything? Almost. Do you ever wonder which actions will have the biggest impact on your company's eco-footprint? An investment in renewable energy? Greener and more efficient logistics? Or perhaps sourcing a different, more eco-friendly raw material? The Recarbonex Sustainability Simulator allows you to model these scenarios to help you make data-driven decisions, commitments, partnerships and investments and demonstrate your results reliably and understandably to your board, governments, investors, auditors and to end consumers. And in the end, your customers can vote with their wallet to support the manufacturers who really are making a difference. Scan the QR code and see. Recarbonex Systems. Value made visible.